What's up, y'all? Welcome to Tech Me Out. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 tweaks for iOS 8 and Cydia. So these are some tweaks that I've been using over the past few days that I'm currently enjoying and wanted to share with all of you. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So for the first tweak I have for you, it's called Lock Glyph. And basically what it allows you to do is have a little fingerprint animation here so that it kind of spices up the unlock animation when you're unlocking your phone with your fingerprint on Touch ID. So as you can see, it has that slide to unlock animation as it would if you had the term slide to unlock lock down there and if you hold your finger on the um uh, touch ID there it'll show you a little animation when you unlock your phone I'm not quite sure if you all saw it but if you watch this thing here you'll see it does a little animation as if it's scanning my fingerprint and then it does a check mark in addition to making a sound to let you know that it successfully un successfully unlocked my phone now if I happen to use the wrong finger to try to unlock it it doesn't say try again instead it just shakes and it vibrates in my hand so I'm going to use the right finger again to show you one more time, and there we go. Now, if you hop into your settings, you do have a couple of options for lock glyphs, such as turning it, such as turning the tweak on or off. You can turn on the unlock sound that it makes, in addition to using the tick animation, which is basically what you see when it's acting as though it's scanning my fingerprint. So I'm going to show you what I mean there. So if I put my finger down here, you'll see it does this little animation, but it does it really fast to show you that it's actually scanning my fingerprint. You also can turn on or off the shine animation that it has, use faster animation so that it goes fa so that it unlocks your phone that much faster. And you can also adjust the colors of the fingerprint. So you don't have to respring for this to take effect. So I can change the idle color on this fly and just make it like purple. And then the scanning color, I can change that to like yellow. I don't have to hit save or anything. Just hop right back to my lock screen. Hold my finger or my bad, let me let you actually observe it. <laughs> As you can see, it's purple. And then if I hold my finger over it, it does a little animation of it being yellow instead of the blue that I previously had. You can also turn off the vibrate option and as well as the shake fingerprint if you type in or if you use the wrong finger to unlock your phone. And that's really basically it. No respring required. Everything happens on the fly. Definitely a tweak you must check out. So up next is all time favorite Spring to Mods 3. That's now compatible with iOS 8. And that's the little animation you may have peeped if you were looking um, when I went to my lock screen. So if I hit or let me actually hit it over here. If I hit my lock screen button. You'll notice it does this like little TV animation and I love that. It's a small effect, but one that I, I enjoy. And it all is compliments of Spring to Mods 3. So options for Spring to Mods 3 can be found within your settings. Basically, you can turn it on or off and then you have a ton of different things you can choose from down to animations. You can adjust that. And that's where I also adjust that lock animation. I made it old TV, but you do have a couple of others to choose from here. Um, you also can adjust the app slider. You can take uh, control of control center, your dock, which will allow you to have an effect that I used to put in a lot of my videos called the cover flow effect. So I'm going to just kind of enable that and hopefully it will adjust without a respring. We'll take a look. And it did, if you notice there, it kind of gives you that cover flow effect. And as you can see, it changed again. So a respring wasn't required there. However, if you do notice in Spring to Mods 3 that you make a change and it doesn't change, it definitely respring your device up here in the top right corner. But you can adjust a lot of things about your device with this one tweak versus downloading a bunch of others that does the same thing. So you get like a bulk selection within this one tweak. So you can also adjust your folders a little bit um, from these options here. Um, your lock screen so you can make things visible or hide them. So definitely a lot of cool things to take advantage of with Spring to Must I'm not going to jump into all of them because as you can see, there are a lot of different categories with a lot of different options and it's just simply too much for this video and what I seek to do with it. So definitely check it out. If you want to see a full review on this particular tweak, drop it down below and I'll see what I can do for all of you. Now, another tweak you all may enjoy is called CC Background. So if you slide up your control center, and as you can see, mine's here. It has the background as my wallpaper or any other image that I want to choose to put as the background for Control Center. And that's really all it does. It just allows you to adjust the look of Control Center by adding a background image to it. So you do have a couple of options for this one as well. You can turn the tweak on or off and you can also select the image. So I can choose what image I want in the background of my Control Center. So these are a bunch of wallpapers I have downloaded. I'm just going to choose a random one that I would like to demo there. Maybe this one here. So I can just hit done. I don't have to respring. 
because it already respring's for me. <laughs> so as soon as you hit done, expect that to happen. And now when I slide up from my control center, you'll see that my wallpaper has changed there or my background image has changed there to be the image that I selected a few minutes, a few seconds ago. And that's really it. Next up, we have spin settings. So all it really does is add this little animation to your settings icon where it allows it to spin. And that's really it. It just gives it a different look, kind of catches the eye and adds a uniqueness to your device. And that's spin settings. You do have some settings within there where you can basically turn the tweak on or off or even adjust the spin speed. So I haven't really played with adjusting the speed, but it says default is one. So let's try and put, you know, seven and see what happens. Hit save pop back out and as you can see it's spinning much faster so you can adjust the numbers there and just kind of play with it maybe you like it to go fast maybe you like it to be more a little bit up maybe you like the spinning to be a little bit more obvious and have it go faster or maybe it'll slightly subtle and go a little bit slower but definitely check out spin settings it's simple but something to customize the device a little bit more to your liking. So coming in next here, we have Little Brother. So if you did not notice, I'm using an iPhone 6, not a 6 Plus. And with Little Brother, it allows you to get some of the landscape options that gives you the two column view that you typically get on the 6 Plus on your iPhone 6. Now, this was a feature I really admired about the iPhone 6 Plus that kind of had me on the fence, but it wasn't a deal breaker. And when I decided to get the iPhone 6, I figured in my mind that it would probably be a tweak developed to give you that landscape orientation on the 6 that you typically find on the 6 plus for things such as settings and messages and sure enough a tweak was developed and it's called little brother so pretty much just as you would see things in landscape mode on your 6 plus for your settings um as well as your messages where your conversations are on the left and your messages are on the right. So your mail will also have that two column view where the message is on the left and the content of the message is on the right. So little brother is definitely what his name says, the little brother of landscape orientation on the plus on your six and definitely a tweak I say to check out. So you do have some settings for little brother. Basically you have your two standard ones here for display zoom, which is large and then medium so these are the two by default that are on your device however with little brother they do introduce a new category which is small and it just makes the icons that much more smaller and on all of these categories you can do the home screen landscaped as well as a lock screen landscaped or as well as a lock screen landscape which i don't currently have enabled like you normally would if you change the display zoom you do have to respring for these changes to take effect and that's really it for little brother Next up, we have pull to respring. So if you ever need to respring your device on the fly with this particular tweak, you can do so from within your settings. So all you have to do is go in here and pull down the refresh as you normally would. See the little animation there? And then it resprings your device. So there's no icons or anything like that installed. All you do is hop in your settings, slide that little thing down, watch the little animation, and boom, you're respringing like you normally would. Coming up next, we have Badgemizer. Now, what Badgemizer does is it allows you to adjust a couple of the badges that you typically see on your icons. So, for instance, when I hold my finger down to put my anim to put my icons in wiggle mode, you'll notice the little X that's typically there looks different now. It's a triangle with an X in the middle. And it's pretty much on every icon that I have here. You also notice that my badges are different here. So I have a square with the number instead of the typical circle. And if I had an application installed that I had not already opened, you would notice that the new dot is different as well. <laughs> Which it doesn't look like I have one to demo that. But nonetheless, this is all compliments of Badgemizer. With Badgemizer, you can turn the tweak on or off. You can adjust how you want the badge to look by changing the color, the border, the glow, the shape, and the position of it. You can finer tune it down here with these um, options here. You have the same selection for your clothes box, which is basically the pyramid that I had. And you also have the same selections for the new dot that appears when you download an application and you haven't yet opened it. And you also have some themes you can install, which I haven't really explored yet but nonetheless those are your options within Badgemizer and it's a tweak I think you should check out once again something to customize that device and the look of it to make it more unique to you coming in next we have cylinder and cylinder is much like barrel but but it allows you to fine-tune the animations that you want for your icons in your home screen so if I slide like this you'll see I have a little anim animation for my icons 
as I transition from page to page. And this is all done through Cylinder. So if I hop into my settings, you'll see you have a lot of choices for this particular tweet where you can adjust what type of animation you want to use. So right now I have, if you're curious, carousel selected. I also have cube selected and spin selected. Um, and you'll notice it'll have a number to show you what number animation that is. So you can put a lot of different effects on top of each other to customize it to make it look even more cool or even more crazy. But nonetheless, this is what Cylinder does. Definitely one to check out because it, it lets you really fine tune the pre-made effects that are offered typically in Barrel. You can make your own effect. Coming in at number nine, we have better five column home screen, which is basically what you see here. So I have five icons on my home screen instead of the typical four, allowing me to get more on my home screen than I typically would have, which is something I personally like while still maintaining the beauty of everything. The sister or brother to that is the better five icon dock, which I have installed, but I don't currently have enabled. So I'm going to just drag some icons down here to show you how it looks. And it does make that little cover flow effect we did earlier look that much better. But that is better five icon dock. So you can have five icons in your home screen and five icons in your dock with those two particular tweaks. The repos for those and all of the ones that I gave you are going to be down below in the description box. But that does sum everything up. Those are the 10 tweaks that I have for you all this week. I hope to bring you more next week. And in between time, maybe a video on an individual tweak or some products that I have to review. But... Drop down below which three tweaks you enjoyed the most and if you have specific tweaks that you want to learn more about. Other than that, you already know what to do if you enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.